Hello viewers, we are back again on the podcast. Welcome to Tales of the Beautiful Game. You can, you can also find us on Twitter at DailyFootyTales, that's our handle. And on Facebook, you can look for Tales of the Beautiful Game. And please like and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And do not forget to subscribe. Today, um, we're going to be talking transfers. Transfers for these big European giants. Um, I hope you enjoyed the show. Today, I've got on my left our resident analyst, Rasta. He's back again with us today. Welcome to the show. Welcome, viewers. Um, on my right, I've got the general, Bayo. Welcome to the show. Uh, welcome, viewers. Right, gentlemen, um, without uh, further ado, let's talk transfers. When we talk transfers, the first club that comes into my mind is Manchester United. Many United fans, are you there? What's happening with your club? Manchester United, Bayo, what are your sentiments? Transfer window. Uh, it's, it's, it's an exciting one this time around for Manchester United. Very, very exciting. Yes, it's sweet. They are flowing. No, no, no. Yeah, it's a boring one. It's a boring one. Yeah, it's exciting for rivals. Rivals. United fans, are you excited by the window? No, no, but I, 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 I think Manchester United fans has always been complaining about uh, unnecessary fines. Buys. Yes, unnecessary buys. buys. Yes. But aren't they better than no buys at all? <laughs> no, what we've been complaining, I can't say unnecessary. We're just not buying what you wanted. Like, for instance, in this window, still haven't bought a destroyer. We don't have a destroyer. If we can look at our, 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 um, our striker. I take it you, you, you favor many major. Yeah, I'm a big time Red Devil. Okay. The thing is, we can't be relying on a 37 year old Cristiano Ronaldo as our maximum. Okay. Then our upcoming kid is locked up, Greenwood. So we need to sign. We're, not, we're supposed to sign some of the two top strikers and the number 11. If you can look at look, Marcus Rashford for eight years, we've been waiting for him to flourish. I can say he's a flop. Okay. Rashford and uh, Marshall, and Marshall were supposed to be replaced four seasons ago. Okay. <laughs> but I hear you. But what I'm, what I'm saying is, but you, you many fans are the ones that have been complaining about the team buying unnecessary players. Maybe they, they are taking a cautious approach this time around, looking for the right players to buy. Okay. Um. <laughs> I want to uh, back to it. If, uh, they were not. They were buying the market. The market signings. They were building a brand. Okay. They were not buying for the team. They were buying for the bank. People who sell jerseys. We're looking for, remember, Old Trafford is a theater of dreams. Now it's no longer a theater of dreams. It's now a treasure of wealth by the glazers. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're not holding back here. He doesn't like the glazers at all. But, but then let's look at their actual signings. What have they done? Who did they bring? Do you think they're, they're going to improve the team or they still need to really go out? Are you? But, uh, the signings, I think uh, they are good signings because they are coaches' signings. Okay. I mean, there's nothing bad about a player who is brought in by the coach. You need, you need to wait for that player and see how he performs. Because uh, the only player that I'm just worried about is is the son of Christian Eriksen. Why? He is a magnificent player, as you say, but um, they already have got, they already have Christian Eriksen in their team in Pino Fernandes. You think I, so? I beg to differ. Yeah. I beg to differ. No, uh, uh, you know why? No, let's let's let's. You know why? Bruno Fernandez likes fancy passes. Sometimes his passes are wayward. Sometimes you have to play simple. Simple football is the best simple football. He plays complicated football. Someone is here. You want to put a fancy pass? He plays for himself. He must play for the team. Sometimes he plays simple football. He has a so, signing as well. Okay. So 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 okay. So why sign a? Uh, Christian Eriksen, the player that plays the same type of football as uh, Bruno Fernandes, isn't there? You just play makers for both of them. Yeah. So uh, the answer I'm saying that you can't play, you can't sign a player where you think you've got a, a big name player in that position. Because already the two, very soon, you'll be having a, a, a problem of what to use. Okay. And, 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 and it will end up 
it will end up being a dressing room pro problem for Man United, uh, the Dutch speaking and the Portuguese speaking. Okay. Uh, I, I can't say Bruno Fernandes is a, is a big name signing. When he came, he wasn't known. He only, <laughs> he only shined. <laughs> when he came, he wasn't known. He only shined when there was a pandemic. <laughs> After the pandemic, we never saw him. <laughs> so we must have a lockdown. Let me hold it here. I think Man United was going about what they have so far. But what do you think about their chance for Frankie de Jong? The whole transfer window and things just seem not to be able to get it over the fence. We are lame, we are weak. We should have had a lot of options. If we can't get Frankie de Jong, we're supposed to buy other players to take them in the preseason and prepare well. Uh, no, Ericsson is a he has to replace Bruno. Bruno is not on the bench. <laughs> we need to, we needed to have someone that a post scores. So uh, still in our midfield. Someone who who's a general. Mm-hmm. Mark Tomini, we can't rely on him. Mm-hmm. I would say Fred is okay. You need someone to anchor, someone who will win the balls in the in the midfield. Sometimes we blame the defense for the blunders for the midfield. Okay. For the last five or six seasons, ever since Ferguson left. Manchester United has never had the anchor man. Bear in mind, Matic was a holder. He was never at this one. All right, all in those five to six seasons that you are mentioning about Feka, ever since Feka, he himself failed to replace a can Remember, he had to ask post calls to come out of retirement. So it's not about the current club. It's it 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 breaks back, back, back to Feka as it's here. <laughs> all right, all right, gentlemen. Um, I think I think we have got uh, a situation where my residents analysts are not going to agree here today. Um, Man United clearly has disappointed this transfer window. Uh, we can no, see no, some are enjoying, no, 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 some are enjoying they, they on the ride, well, they are some are disappointed they are on very the well because they are being cautious. Uh, they don't want the uh, same situation whereby they to sign Paul Poker for 89 million, Pierre Maguire for 18 million, and disappoint when he comes. So they are looking for a right player. Let's wait for them. Okay, but they, they've, so far, they've so far failed <laughs> to get the right player. It's not cautious. Yeah. The right name is pathetic. <laughs> 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 All right, let's move on, guys. What about Manchester City? Uh, United is going to have us fighting in the studio today. <laughs> what about Manchester City? Uh, uh, the, the, uh, they have transfers. They have transfers. Uh, that I can say is positive because I believe we were inspired by the loss against the Madrid. Okay. They didn't have a, a gunman, uh, a sniper, uh, a, goal, a, goal, a, goal, okay. a, a, a proven goal scorer. Look at Jesus and Stanley combined. They wasted a lot of chances. Look at couple of Jesus ever since he, he came. He hasn't scored more than 10 goals. He hasn't. Yeah, he, all the season it was he didn't go for double figures. But the question is, is he playing for? He was played. If you are a top player, they will play you less game, you score more goals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Top but your, what, are, what are your thoughts on Manchester City? When you talk of Manchester City, I normally talk Pep Guardiola. I don't talk Manchester City. Okay, let's talk Pep Guardiola. Yes. Because it's the figure Yes. Uh, I think uh, what he is doing is not fair for football. Oh. That's a strong one. Why? <laughs> you sign me. You sign me. Sure, that for the, for the coming five seasons, yeah, City will be dominating the country. Isn't that good for City? <laughs> City fans, hello. Yes, for City, it's good. But for football in general, I, 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 think, me, I think the guy is now fighting football. He's no longer. He, 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 he now enjoys. Okay, so he's now the antichrist of football. Uh, to be fair, I, 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 just, I, I just want to. I, I, I'm not a Pep Guardiola fan, but from what I'm seeing, even this uh, this season that we are in right now, I don't see any team stopping them. You don't? No, I don't. Football uh, shock you, man. Uh, 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 shock yes, you. Uh, yes, uh, I, I know the, uh, we we'll talk about Conte and stuff, eh? but personally, I, I think the only signing that uh, this sign that I don't feel like it's a Pep Guardiola type of a player, it's still another highlight. Oh, yes. I, I, I think the boy would. I, I, I'll use it as that term where you say, if you are good, use the opportunity. The guy will use this opportunity that comes up. But as a team, I don't see him playing. Okay. Rasta, what do you think of Pep Guardiola? Uh, Pep Guardiola, this time around, I think he's after the Champions League. By signing. Have you been saying that for the last five years? No, because before. 
to a standing comes like a standing is a new fruit that comes like a cabbage is a new fruit that comes like a Alan is a specialist because Champions League you need to utilize any chance you get you win you can take a leaf from Real Madrid Madrid will, will be under you will, won't be doing well in terms of to be dominated if they get a chance to utilize it okay so you need people like Benzema mm-hmm. who gets half the chance you score mm-hmm. to win the thing that Champions League I believe in the league, I won't count in much. I think that signing tells me they are looking for the big one, which I'm mistaken. All right, um, my residents, analysts are not talking about one player that I find interesting that Manchester City signed. Um, I think your viewers can guess Alvarez. Thoughts? He's a, he's, a, he's, a good, he's a top player from what I saw the cameo against Liverpool. But one game, you can't judge a player one game. And I've never watched him much in South America. In South America, with the Premier League, Premier League is fierce. One mistake, even the, the culture is tough. Pandy to persecute you. Mm-hmm. You need to have a strong mindset. I do not know, but judging from Argentines, they are fighters. All right, all right, all right. Then let's look at what Pep Guardiola let go. Sterling, the staring, staring, or rather, the miss staring, staring. <laughs> uh, staring is, is one interesting player. Yeah. It's a player that you want. You want? Yes. I don't want to say that this is a record. I think you agree with me. No. I think that guy is a, is a he, he came to the wrong spot. He's a he's an athlete. He's a man. <laughs> but but I, I, I think you're unfair to the <laughs> Because uh, if, if uh, I've watched the City play this uh, past two games against Liverpool, against Leicester, I think they missed the guy I'm standing. Mm. They did. They, they did miss him. What does he even, offer? Even, uh, even Captain Jesus, uh, allowing Jesus to be as, as, uh, as much as those boys miss him. Because <laughs> if you talk of Jesus, mm-hmm. I'm talking of a big game player. Okay. Uh, for example, against the, uh, Liverpool, big teams, the guy has. You need those such players. What about Zinchenko? Did you see it? <laughs> 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 I think it was a good business for both teams. Oh, okay. It was a fair business. Alright, so it's... But they, 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 okay, wait. Uh, uh, so they want TN now. Uh, uh, this thing is... They want who? TN. Uh, I'm failing to understand the Arsenal New City business. Is one a fit a team of another or what? Because <laughs> I, I, I'm not struggling to uh, understand their business now. Because you... You give up, you allow the team for your left back to leave and go for that team's left back. Who is upgrading? What you are is upgrading. All right, all right, all right, gentlemen. Um, so the consensus is City upgrading. Yes, that's what you're saying. Yes. This transfer, we you agree. Yes. No, City, City has been doing a lot of work here. Okay. Um. What about the Gabriel's new team, uh, Arsenal? Arsenal. <laughs> Do you think they're doing good business in the transfer window, or they just arcing the dressing room? Uh, I would say it's the average because the only biggest thing I hear people praising Arsenal. <laughs> Arsenal, there's one thing I'm questioning. Most right. of their players, like Gabriel and Sterling, I can say they are semi, they are half experienced. They, they are lacking seasoned players. If I can compare Arsenal and Spurs, mm. Spurs has got generation, different generations, mm. uh, seasoned players, yeah. mid ones and upcoming ones. Arsenal is more of a mm. same generation. <laughs> Their football is smart, but that, that is based on youth being fast. Okay, that cannot win leagues. You need experience. Okay. I, I, th- I think the league. Shaka, I can <laughs> say, is ex- is a is a experience in costing teams. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's getting a red card. Rasta, you on fire. He's an experienced loser. Oh, Shaka, Shaka for me is not a footballer. You should try that. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, viewers. It seems like Rasta has got flames coming out of his mouth today. Okay, but then we're talking about the transfer window here. Bayo, do you think Arsenal have created or they just. <laughs> I have not this Arsenal. You can have a I have a on Jesus. In Gabriel Jesus, I would say. It's an upgrade. But, but, but for standing. But, but no. Standing no, is just. Who, who is greater Jesus than Opera Miami? 
Kombani yangu. You as let go by the same coach with the uh, I will say uh, Jesus. That's why I want to understand. So if 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 for real uh, Jesus is greater than uh, Opomian, then I agree with South Africa. So you are basically saying Arsenal is being Arsenal. I don't I, 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 I don't see Jesus carrying that team. No, he can't. Care, he can. He can't carry that team because, like you, like as I said, he uh, he actually scores. Uh, more double, than figures. double figures. I think you will shock you this is No, we probably say fault for Guardiola. Because Guardiola was teaching him a striker you must play week in, okay. week out for you to yeah, score. Maybe, because if 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 I choke Arsenal, I choke Atakat. So uh, I'm not You think yet. he's the guy that can carry them? Yes, I, I think he can carry them if he uh, he maintains his his form or whatsoever. If he becomes consistent. That's the problem with Arsenal. Ever, uh, ever since I've known them. <laughs> then they are not consistent enough. You can't. You can have a player this season playing very well, shining uh, six, seven games. Here yeah, the player is now in mid has room. Someone comes up, carry the team, strike is goes back. So even the only signings is just names. It's just names, and uh, don't be surprised. They can go 10, 12 games without winning. Then mid season they drop a game point. Then they wait for the last ten games to pick wins again, fighting for their own no, their own their <laughs> own only cup. Because as now this cup is FA Cup. Okay. And if 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 this players that have been signed are for FA Cup, I understand because that's where they they flourish most of the time. And if, if a cup champions they forget about us now the champions league. Let's talk about if a cup. Yeah, guys, ruthless. Uh, there's no signings whatsoever. Yeah. You can see the, uh, the, there's no steel at those signings. Okay. Which player comes to mind when the, the player that can say, no, this is the whole, the whole of the team? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be Thomas' party, but party is not always in the party. He's <laughs> <laughs> always in that. that. That's the thing. That's, that, that's the thing. He's not hosting the party. He's always in that. <laughs> and, 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 and you, you will see a uh, Lokonko and them now starting to be there. What you mean, for that? And 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 the, the, the nice thing about us that fans is, uh, uh, most of them fans that I know, they all, they, they always have the answer for that. No, we fail because we have injuries. As if the season, even if, if the season starts, they know that they will they have the injuries. Even if you ask any Arsenal fan right now, he will tell you about the injuries that are not yet even there. But they already know that they will fail because of the injuries. They will fail because of the injuries. <laughs> that's, their, that's, their, that's their five, ten year excuse. Okay. We have injuries. We have every season, we have injuries. Ah, remember, oh, Pate, oh, we have the Oh, Ateta failed to put a name. Yeah. Uh, that's the same old story. Okay, so. let's, <laughs> let's, let's leave Arsenal alone. Apparently, it's an injured club. Mm-hmm. Let's go to Tottenham Hotspur. They are rivals. What do you think? What do you think? I'll start it by your perspective. Uh, yes, uh, Tottenham Hotspur. I, I, I'm quite happy for space. Ah. I'm giving them the lead. They sound like a space fan. Yeah, I, I'm giving them the lead. Are you? Yes. I of because them. Yes, I hate of him. Conte wow, have done that. Conte have done that. I hate of him. Remember, I told oh, you he was the right. only one. So it's not for the first time. Mm. So to say, Pepe and Conte, I'll give it to Conte. Conte. And look at his signings. The signings shows that I won the league. Who did the who did you sign? I mean, Richardson. Richardson. Are you impressed by that boy? Yes, I'm impressed. Richardson. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ask me why. Why? Uh, the Spurs already have got Son. They've already have got uh, Kane. There's this guy, they say something is over. No, no, no. The, the, in their attack line. Oh, yes. yes, there's this other guy. So, yes, you yes. then you sign Richardson. Yeah. You show, you're showing intent that I, you, if you want the lead, yes. you need to have some. Yes, he's still there. Yes, still there. Yes. Well, that's you, a super sub. You, you, you need to have some, uh, some players that if so, it's not so mistake. It's Richardson. Okay, oh, Ken is injured. Richardson can come. Comes in. Yeah. Lucas Moura can come in. You, you can see that the team is signing not for FA Cup like Arsenal. They want the big one. Even Sesenyong is good. Even uh, on his first, on his first. Look at this uh, Brighton boy. 
the best to the best is the best 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 the He knows when you have got to take Perisic and experience the Perisic is there so. Yeah, yeah. And that guy is tall, eh? Yeah? And actually, to be fair enough, Spurs has been so consistent. The goal they are done for this thing, Jenny Dave. Oh, but there now, we go again. Now, now we are eating you, Spurs fans. <laughs> but now, <laughs> I'll, I'll agree with this Spurs. I think Spurs is the main business. Yes. But the thing, I think experience those players. I think Conte has got a big job to to me that like and say Perisic knows how to win. Kane doesn't want anything. So he's a bad luck boy. He's a bad luck boy. Yes. Yeah, for space to be a matter of luck. But they've got the team. But they are goalkeeper guys. They they are goalkeepers. Yeah like him he's got luck. He has won a many World Cup. He has won World Cup in Europe. Yeah he's like yeah, he's, he's got luck. Uh, why I'm giving it to space? I'm looking at quantity. That guy himself has got luck. He wins everywhere he goes. And they started with a 4 one morning of Southampton. They made this. Yes, they made this. And, 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 and the other thing is, that was a good win for them because what has been costing them uh, is them failing to beat teams like Southampton. Uh, if they can understand that, remember last season, uh, the so-called big two failed to beat space. Yeah. Only the way. Yeah. But yeah, uh, the champions, They lost only now, which is going to be season. And Liverpool collected two points, which has drawn only now. So, at least, you see that uh, if you're fighting someone, beat that person. Yeah, so you can beat everyone else. Then you can beat everyone else. If you can beat the one that you're fighting with, then everyone will, everyone will fear you. Because now, Conte's signings for me are the signings for a team that wants a lead. See? You can uh, talk Pep Guardiola signings, they are Pep Guardiola signings, but for Conte, Conte believes in team work. Uh, did did Conte release anyone? And you can well, I, think Dele Ali, I think Dele Ali, last season was on loan, and it was a good, it was a liability. <laughs> <laughs> it was a liability. <laughs> One doesn't have character, mm. and yet he's not good enough. And he's not decisions. Yeah, he, that's what character says everything. He, he didn't have character that was overrated because he's English. <laughs> Alright, let's let's jump from Spurs and Conte and let's go to Liverpool. Club transfer signings of this season. You let side your money go. That's the big one. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I think, Three, one, two. I think the Nunez is a young boy who he has to prove us. He says him though. Yeah, because off-season we're seeing something else and he's proved himself two games to score. Okay. So the one Nunez. Luis Diaz is playing well. But this season is still young. I, still, I believe a, a lot still has to come from Liverpool because he can drop a few there. But who did they buy this season? He's down, he's down here and this guy Cavani. For them, it looks good. Let's see him. I, I think we, uh, Cavani is our next, uh, it's Liverpool's next coach. I think so. Okay. The boy is, looks good. Looks good. Looks is he a central midfielder though? Because uh, he was playing on the wing. Ah, uh, with, with Klopp and Pep Guardiola, you can play even left to play. Right? <laughs> so, uh, it's difficult to, to catch them because they can surprise you. You know this player is this, they give you this player is that. So, it's all about them. So, let's forget about this player as well. Let's, yes, let's hope. Uh, look, it, Nunez to me is the same as Alan. Yeah. I'm not sure if those players, uh, my good friend, you know, Malaysia always says that they signed for teams that pack the pass. Yeah, because they, you can see it over. Yes, can because uh, he, he says to me that uh, uh, those uh, pack the pass teams uh, always get the two teams problems. So they're only signing, the reason they were signed was for them. To unlock the pass. To unlock the pass. But they can't unlock those pass, those guys, they want to push the pass. Because they are tall. Uh, but uh, uh, question but uh, uh, look, look for example. Uh, How about Liverpool pack the pass? Uh, Charity Shield, he couldn't unlock the pass. Mm. Uh, this guy, Alan, Alan was isolated. I think he had maybe three touches the whole game. He used to have, but the three touches that was the total, it was a moment of three, it was a moment of two minutes 
I remember him. He was a spectator. He was watching the game. But yes, I say that. I, I'm not sure if uh, if the signing is correct. Uh, but you say it's for a Champions League. Maybe I will have to agree with you on that one because personally, I don't see Guardiola as a coach that plays with a gunman. But we have spoken to Katiola. Let's go with Nunes. 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 Ah, uh, uh, Nunes. It's it, 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 it's a different or a different version of him. Are you sure? I don't. I think he's better. Yes, he's better. But on what I'm saying is that he is that player that will come from the bench and give you goals. You think he went that ahead of Firmino? No, 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 no. That would be the biggest mistake. That if Klopp goes for that, that okay. would be a very, very biggest mistake. Except if 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 he was me, he would go for four, two, three, one. Okay, but he doesn't play that. Yes. So, but it don't matter. He used to play that formation, so he can still go there. Okay. Uh, we have two uh, two anchors. We have got your Tiago, who knows how to play football in uh, Fabino. Okay. Then, yes. then we have got Firmino. Can put the then, then we put uh, Nunes. Then, 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 then Diaz. Then Diaz. Then we have got uh, Salah. Forget about Henderson. Henderson, <laughs> it's it's it. He's Liverpool. He understands Liverpool. Yeah. Uh, Lenderson can, uh, because Tiago is always in that. Okay. So, so Lenderson Yenda, knows that this position would be there the, because Tiago <laughs> would pull him mask in. Even in warm up, <laughs> you already have got uh, Tiago on the first 11. Next thing you need to hear the commentator that there has been a substitution in Liverpool in the dressing room. <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, forget about uh, Tiago and Lenderson story. Tiago is always in that. I think. The other thing that uh, I, I think Klopp needs to go for a new future if he if he wants to do something. <laughs> so their their business so far, you think is underwhelming? No, 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 no. They 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 are poor in the market. To be honest, they are poor. They, yes, you yes. think so? Mm, yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, they are poor in yeah. the market. Also, not only poor in the market in England, their players are not capable to decide your money. He's an African. Alright, um guys, so I think I think I'll conclude by saying maybe the departure of Edwards affected Liverpool's transfer plans. Is that fair? Was their football then? No, Liverpool and Manchester United they are the same. Their dealings are the same, they are just confused when it comes to the market. Okay, confused Liverpool. Because if you look at Nunes signing I don't really think Klopp needed that ball. He needed somebody at all. No, no forget about game. the tour. He knew that Manchester United were going for that ball. It was just to show Manchester United that we are, now, we are now better than you. Okay. You can get a player that you, you want. Yeah. Because Manchester United wanted me. So Liverpool, it was just a statement to show it. We are going for what you want. See. Alright, so who is better than Chelsea in the transfer window? Do you think Chelsea is done well? Uh, Chelsea, I can't <laughs> say they did well. That guy is over cautious. <laughs> How can you sign a Kulibad an old defender? Well, well, over 30 years. He lost two defenders. Tiago Silva, over 30 years. He lost two defenders. He needed to bring him in. They missed the coaching. Striker, can you say Sterling is a striker? Oh, well, he doesn't but, know uh, can, can I ask, <laughs> the average age uh, 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 signing of Chelsea in this window? I think it's 28. It's 28. Does it make sense? He no. tells you it's a coach. Is it? They are after instant results. At Chelsea, that doesn't seem that there's future because most of them are old. Kulibali gets injured, finish. Tiago uh, Silva so, only gets injured, is finished because they're over the years. Yeah, they are kept in advocator. Uh, How old is he now? Thirty-three years old. So it's so old. It's advocator. It's Kulibali over thirty. Yeah, there's Tiago. Alonso. And they're letting Malang sub or that young defender. Sorry, there is also this Chalopa. Is good. So, 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 uh, 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 but they lost two defenders. They lost uh, Rudiger, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, fine. But mm-hmm. Christensen was a bit young. Yeah. No, but I'll agree with but, you. But, 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 but too soft. But Christensen, uh, tell me a game that he played very well. Christensen, Champions League, which one? Against Madrid. Huh? Is it? Is it? I can't say it. Yeah. No, <laughs> Christensen has got games. Today is like an iron. He's got the element. Today is on, tomorrow is off. So he can't have such a difference. But you, yeah. <laughs> the, the iron has got an element. On and off. So, so the Mr. Hendricks, do you think he was going to succeed at... Uh, they say he's good with Mr. Hendricks because it runs like... Oh, he's kidding. Yeah, yeah, right. right. <laughs> ah, Sterling is a good player. He'll be, he'll be, he'll be good. He, he's yeah. always good wherever he goes. I remember, good at what? At missing it, or... I remember there was a game while he still was still in Liverpool. Uh, the training loss when Liverpool lost the training. 
you have just runs out you just uh, get around you have missed almost the five seaters that boy will always be standing <laughs> that boy will always be standing <laughs> <laughs> uh, what uh, very good at taking on players useless at scoring goals but guys what do you think of them letting go of Lukaku I mean that 90 million <laughs> yeah, it tells you a lot about Tuchel is it Tuchel or the Chelsea guy uh, well, whoever is signing how do you sign someone who flopped before flopped at United <laughs> Then he comes and flops again. You take him back <laughs> where we bought him. We bought him 90 million. You still are still paying him. Then. That's that's pathetic. You're still paying him. That's that's pathetic. You can't do that. That's not how this boy. I, I doubt him. I, I say I respect the Roman, but this boy. You think doubt. you're but, gonna make Chelsea boy? Eh? I'm not boiling already. <laughs> but uh, but but they won their first game. No, Chelsea ten out. Chelsea always surprises. I didn't watch the game. But uh, Chelsea always do do that. And but sometimes they when, when they are like when, when they are like that, they win things. In team of Vienna, they don't have a striker right now, as I speak. And Chelsea has got no striker. Yeah, so team Vienna. of Vienna is just going back to Leipzig. And team of Vienna was, was never a striker or a winner. Chelsea was full of winners. Pulisic, Vienna. So the only striker they were. It was Lukaku the striker. And this Temi Abraham the left goal was a striker. These ones are not strikers. So what what's the reason uh, they let Lukaku go? I was not happy. It was hey, remember that love letter that you sent through that guy in Italy. I the guy wasn't happy. But Chelsea have got rivals in the transfer market. Funny enough, uh, they've been fighting Barcelona, who's broke and losing. <laughs> what do you guys think of Barcelona? And what well, it's, a, it's a thing about Spanish teams. Uh, Spanish teams. They will always try to sabotage the Premier League. Mm, that's a big one. Why? Because uh, Madrid and Barcelona, they are the Spanish team. That does the Spanish league. Mm. In terms of even Champions League, we have won. Someone will argue with me and say this competition there. Look at Madrid has won 35 La Ligas, 15 Champions League. Uh, this one uh, is 14, maybe 14 Champions League. Barcelona has won 26 La Liga, uh, 5 Champions League. Vale, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid is one only ten La Liga. Look at number three is behind by sixteen La Liga. <laughs> From number number two is behind by eight, eight La Liga, eight, eight, nine La Liga. Yeah. They, so there's no competition. Then Sevilla is got six. The ones I've never met, they were won before my time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Villarreal has never won La Liga. Yeah. And Valencia, Valencia won, won one, six. Won one, we know. only won one. It's six. It's six. And the, in terms of Champions League, zero. That is why mm. it explains why La Liga teams are always specializing in Europa. You know why? They know they cannot survive in in, in Spain. They have to specialize in Europe. Okay, but Barcelona's Champions League, Champions. I mean, transfer, transfer. I'm not confused right now. Transfer window. Do you think it's overwhelming, underwhelming, confusing, surprising, shocking? It's it's, it's confusing. It's shocking. It's fun. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I'm struggling to understand. Uh, one minute you hear they've signed this one, the next minute you hear they, they can't register that one. So it's just confusing and it's fine at the same time. What's the news about it, Barcelona? Maybe someone can enlighten me. What's, go, what's really going on there? Because I, I'm failing to understand. They've signed Rafina. They've signed Lewandowski, they've signed uh, Kaonde from Sevilla, uh, Christensen from Jets, uh, Kessie from Sevilla. And then at the next minute, year, the country just has lost their But they've sold as well. Huh? Hey, Devin, it's young, it's not yet born. You sell someone, you own. They've loaned uh, Lenny Lane. No, you're talking about Lenny Lane. They, but, they but he's still a Barcelona player still. They are selling oh, that kid. I, I, I heard they want to sell to play him. So it's just confusing. But uh, Neto is sold though. Yes. But, but at the end of the day, it's confusing. No, you know what, what, I, what I hear can is... We say, okay, can we say all these players that have been signed would be registered? From where we are sitting right now. So, 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 what, ask Mr. Laporte. so what, what kind of uh, transfers are, are these? Why not sort out your house first? Then go to the market knowing what you want, because uh, okay, but because it, it, it doesn't make sense uh, for a team to sign players whom they don't know if they will be able to register. The Frank Dion uh, Saka Saka is is been taking uh, very long uh, to be circulated, and uh, 
even it's even confusing my brothers at Manchester United now because <laughs> <laughs> they, they are waiting for the for the player Barcelona is playing around. So uh, the Barcelona's uh, way of dealing of dealings it's a mafia way. It's it's it's, it's, the, it's actually like Rasta said it's the Spanish way of doing things. Even uh, their brothers Real Madrid they have, they have got this tendency of signing players for the sake of noise. Okay. So, so, so all these signings are, are, are from Barcelona. This, it's all about noise. It's about Laporte now because he wants he wants the world to know. He's staring. Yeah, because uh, and the world is is seeing right now that no, the guy is powerful. And okay, okay, but what 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 answer did you have? Uh, because I think it's who they own, Barcelona Madrid. Other teams you hear, the Glazers own Manchester, FSG own Liverpool. It's more than a community. There's so nothing. There's, there's, there's no Vatican. There, there's no. There, there, there's no. Vatican. It didn't just say yeah. one they were winning Madrid. against uh, this friend fight. Madrid. There was uh, someone Madrid. who. Yeah. Madrid. Madrid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Madrid they were yeah. Who owned Barcelona? Um, Barcelona is some group of socials that are a community. Oh, but, that, okay, for example, who owns this team that I know? Um, so I'm some guy pod because I but that, that guy but, but when you're short, you're short, you're a community, it's a community team. team. All those teams are community teams. But yeah. but but mm-hmm. indirectly owned by someone. Okay. All right. Um so Barcelona, Barcelona, you're confused. But I hear the thing that uh, the problem with Barcelona is not that they don't have money to buy, but uh, they have reached their limit in terms of wages. Maybe that's why they want to get rid of Frankie because apparently he earns 22 or something million a year and they need him at around 10, 11 so that they can replace the other player because La Liga is stopping them. Best of that. Isn't that, is, is, why do, why do isn't that, that symptoms? symptoms? Those are symptoms. symptoms. What? Of their heads, they are only more than a billion. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's 1 billion, 1.3 billion they are owing. And beside that, 1.3 billion, I think, uh, it excludes uh, some signings. Uh, mm-hmm. Certain 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 clubs are still old money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Madrid they don't buy Barcelona don't buy a player on cash basis. They buy on installments. I think most clubs. Yeah, a lot of them they do on installments. Barcelona still owing. You know the funny part about them is that someone who's broke <laughs> but still you go on shopping spree. It's what Barcelona do. Interesting. What about Madrid though? They signed two players, I think. Chomeni and uh, who's the other guy? Chomeni. Uh, I can say Madrid have now they have now woken up from Islam. They have moved away from from that Spanish way of doing things. Now they are they are now like the Germans, the Dutch, where they are smart economically, where they put some limits, some class ceilings. Now they are smarter. Before they were not smart. They were they nearly took the path a similar way. Remember when they fall, that downfall, they were all the same big names on big contracts. Some of them were past their peak. But uh, don't you think we need to give uh, Zidane credit for He him? is the one who, who, who helped Madrid. Madrid. Yes. Without Zidane, Madrid could have been in a worse situation. There is another club that seems to wear black and white and likes buying a lot of players and Juventus. Juventus. They have signed Pogba from Man United. Uh, Spanish and Italians are mafias. <laughs> <They're all laughs> that, if you can go to their countries, yeah. uh, there's, a, there's no middle class. Mm. It's either we are rich mm. or we are poor. So at least in South America, Brazil, Argentina, mm. Uruguay, mm. because they were colonized by those countries. Okay. Okay. It's, uh, it's amazing. Uh, Portugal are smarter. Mm. They are also within the. They, they, are, not, the they, are, they are smarter, they are economic. Mm. Those guys have got big egos. Mm. They want people to know their teams to be tough at whatever cost. Mm-hmm. But yeah. do you think you've been as uh, bio? Do you think you've been signed some but some not worth signing? Papa, Jimaria, this kind of the, the old lady. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think on, it's going for old ladies. <laughs> I think on Papa they missed it. Papa they missed it. Papa, yeah. Papa was shining there because there was that guy, Upilo. Uh, okay. And that one uh, from Chile, what do you call it? Chile. Uh, no, Arturo Vidal. Arturo Vidal was doing dirty work with Marquisio. Was also doing dirty work. Pilo was the okay, okay trader. He was the one who was was the general. So Popa had a free role. No one was. He was a young boy at the time. Most teams were not doing tactics for, against Popa. They were doing tactics against Pilo, uh, Arturo Vidal, Marquisio. 
other guys. He was not a big figure for but now he's not a big figure. But now what I see about him, he lacks character, he's just a good player. He's not a leader. And he doesn't have character for Pogba. Pogba is too casual. He thinks he's, he's always playful. He will cost the team. But basically, the Pogba who's going back there, is not the same. There are expectations, I don't think. He will always be injured. As we speak, he's, he won't play the World Cup. I think it's the end of Pogba. No, but, uh, but the chances of him playing uh, in the World Cup are said that remember he avoided the surgery. Yeah. So they are saying that maybe he'll be out for five weeks. So yeah. do you think do you think you've understood well on the transfer? Yeah, yeah I think for Di Maria. I think Di Maria will see. Di Maria uh, I, I think uh the Italian league is not uh like this demanding. It's, uh, it's not that demanding. I, I would say that they sign players with for that league. But the champions with the uh, 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 do you think that Juventus the, the Juventus that we are seeing nowadays is the one that can copy for the Champions League? Uh-huh. I don't think so. I, I think that they, they are more concerned about how they are gonna take their league base. That don't think that, that, that's not the Juventus. Yeah. So so that, 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 that's what Moreno. Jose Moreno is project uh-huh. is coming. Mm-hmm. You know the special one. Yeah. I believe oh, AS Roma will surprise me. <laughs> and then we've got AC Milan, we've got Inter. I won't, I won't put much in Juventus, I doubt it. Okay. I doubt very much. All right. Mourinho is there, he knows what he's doing. Look at his attacking Paulo Dybala. Mm. They lost a good player in Juventus. But they didn't want him anymore. No, he wasn't fitting in their system. Mm. Juventus. Mm. So he, he will prove them at the AS Roma. We'll see if they wanted him or not. Let's mm. see they, Do you season. think Jose can still win the league? I believe he can, he can win in Italy. Because mm-hmm. AC Milan, they won the league. But now they would be trying to win the Champions League. They won't stay. Okay. <laughs> if if Mourinho specializes on the on the league and forgets about he Europe, wants the Europa. Yeah, he won't get conference. If he specializes on the league, he's got a chance. Because okay. in, in Italy the difference is not that big. Yeah, yeah, it's not that big. Yeah. I think I can say La Liga is a little bit more, nowadays more competitive than the Spanish League. Okay. All right. Um Juventus lost the lead to Bayern Munich. Um, Bayern Munich. But I, I, I'm asking myself uh, one question about the Diviti board. Mm-hmm. Uh, did at any given time reach his potential? He's 22. He's still. I'm saying at Juventus. No, I, I doubt. He, he, I can say he flopped at Juventus. He went there. He was a no, he went there with big expectations. Yeah, that, that, that's the point. He was a little bit too late. I, I think he's going with uh, big expectations. Uh, considering how they, uh, how he was bought, remember, uh, the, was expensive, eh? Yeah, uh, uh, what made him expensive, remember, uh, is the signing boys, Manchester United, they wanted him, so every time, Chelsea, every time if a player, it's Chelsea, no, it's mainly United, 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 Lower and when Manchester went into the party, they increased the price. The price. So, uh, then Juventus beat them uh, uh, on the side because they chose to boycott. But I'm Juventus. talking about now because the lead now left Juventus mm-hmm. is at Bayern Munich. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm talking about his first signing at oh, Juventus. Okay. Right. Uh, it, 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 you went there with high expectations. Everyone on the team, remember? Yeah. Uh, and now he is at Bayern Munich. I don't see pressure at Bayern Munich. You don't? You will, you will be a good player. There's a young coach there. He's yes, I'm saying. Uh, 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 I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't see any <laughs> player. <laughs> there. Any player can play there. Yeah, you think so? Any player can play at Bayern Munich. Because uh, the only challenge is Dortmund, the Magia Batch. But, uh, but, uh, uh, but uh, for, uh, for many years, yes, Bayern Munich. For many years, Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich is winning that league. Hey, Leipzig got to Werner back, so they may be dangerous. Uh, Leipzig are just, uh, they're just this day, they won't win anything, even before they but, never won but, anything. But you can't have a team in uh, 10 leagues in a row. But if they deserve it, should they, should they give it to number two with the extends? It shows that any player can play them. Okay, all right. But so, Bayern, Bayern made some signings. They, 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 signings. they brought, they brought uh, Maslow and uh, Ajax right back. I think it was now at Saturday. I'm not sure. And they brought um, Graven back. That signings are good. Considering that Dortmund lost their market signing. The last two windows, they lost the Sancho. Now they've got Alan every season. They're they losing. Every season they're losing. And, and it's funny enough, this time around, Alan Alan didn't go to Bayern Munich. 
Because it's one, you can't be number two and be fit up for number one. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird. <laughs> but do you think by any, they are signing clearly for the Champions League? Just of course, because in Alika, in Bundesliga, they always win. They are controlling them. But uh, Champions League is a, it's tricky for them. It's very tricky. It's tough. Especially after losing the Champions And this Madrid, the way they are doing, <laughs> they can defeat the Champions League. You think so? Angelotti and Madrid. Uh, that marriage is from his marriage. Mm-hmm. That marriage is from heaven. Uh, I doubt Madrid is a team to beat now. I doubt that Bayern. But Bayern is good money now. Money. The teams that can try to beat Madrid are English teams. Forget about them. But now, no, 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 no. forget about them. But now, Bayern themselves can beat Madrid. Not the English not the English teams. In Liverpool, that they were supposed to win the final. It was Klopp. Klopp lost that game. But no, forget about your River Street kids are Man City, they Chelsea. beat Chelsea, they beat Liverpool. They beat they, all of them. They, they beat all of them. Forget about them beating uh, Rima Street, those English teams. Actually, forget about an English team beating uh, a Spanish team in the final. If, if ever Madrid, if there is competition for, for Madrid, maybe it will come from final. That's the only team that I can see challenging them. PSG? Forget about them. Uh, PSG are always off. You think they are they 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 No because the league is worse. It looks like Messi is revamped this time around. Yeah, really. Messi alone Messi to be Messi it will be he needs players to play around him, not Mbappe. Mbappe won't pass it. All right, gentlemen. Um I think we have a very nice discussion. We have come to the end of our show. Do you guys have any sentiments uh, on the transfers? Is there any surprise package someone that you should reach out for? Uh, Tottenham, I'm Yeah, I agree on Tottenham players. Well, for the Champions League? Champions League, me, I'm, 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 I think City might, let's see, this Alan, which is going to shine. City might have some voice in the No, let's wait and see. Champions League. Madrid, uh, Champions League. Madrid, this is the best for Liverpool. That's for Liverpool. Yeah. You think they will fall down in the league and do well? Yes. Yeah. All right, all right, uh, viewers. Uh, even uh, clubs. Your first attention about the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. These last statements last season mm. showed. Yeah, you want them to meant meant something. Yeah, remember he vowed uh, that he will meet in Turkey. Yes, but uh, to me, I see there's an understatement that he has yeah. given up the game to Guardiola. Why can't he challenge Guardiola? Yeah. Because Guardiola is unchallenged. No, don't talk about it. Guardiola is unchallenged. <laughs> that big. Believe me, you. I I I I won't run away from 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 the fact. That the guy, is, that, no, 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 no. That league is, is done and dusted. In, 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 in Champions League, is Madrid and Angelotti. But, but with Madrid, Madrid, Madrid is difficult from the uh, from quarterfinals. But, in the group stages but, are but, it, but if, if you manage to knock them out on the round of 16, yeah. They 16 can and the quarterfinals are weaker. Yes, but, but when they reach the semifinals, that's where they are. They are okay. All right, viewers, um, we've come to the end of our show. Uh, it seems like this time our transfers suggest that we need to watch out for Tottenham Hotspurs in the Premier League, Madrid in the Champions League, Bayern, Bayern in the Champions League, and there is a little bit of faint voice for Manchester City. <laughs> uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow us on Facebook. Uh, Tales of the Beautiful Game and our Twitter handle is Daily Footy. Oh, Tales of the Beautiful Tales of the Beautiful Game. Um, thank you very much. Um, see you on another episode.